Farmers are people that want to do things themselves. We aren't somebody that enjoys handouts, but when push comes to shove and, and you no longer can do it yourself, uh, farmers are, are people that will come together and do anything for you. Let's face it, sometimes farming can be a little bit monotonous. And when you've been farming for as long as Arland and Kathy Walt have been farming, you pretty much have seen it all. Except for this time. In early 2021, Arland went to the doctor and was diagnosed with a rare, untreatable form of cancer. I haven't got, I haven't got a whole lot of time that I'm going to be alive. He sat down and he made one final request to God for God to give him the absolute best harvest he's ever seen. But yet, his health deteriorated. As harvest time began to approach, he realized he might not be able to make it. He sat down and prayed for a miracle, and God granted his last request. God gave him his miracle.
right, no see. <laughs> How you been? Oh, you look so good. Oh, no, thank you, yeah. So they shut down. Nobody can bring grain there today except for the trucks leaving here. Wow, that's awesome. That's that's so kind. But it's pretty cool. I didn't expect this big of a turnout. I knew the equipment was coming, but we didn't realize this many trucks. And uh, actually, Zealand Farm Service is going to bring a bunch of trucks, I guess, at some point. Oh. So I don't think they're here yet. But I think this afternoon or tonight, they're going to send a bunch of trucks, which will be awesome. That's huge. So how long into the night can you guys combine? Can you combine all night or do you have to wait for the corn, dew? Corn, you can run as long as you want. You just have to be able to hold. When we combine for our farm, this, once you run out of room in the grain bins, you have to stop. What about like this, bring it to the co-op. Um, I think the co-op will make an exception. Bro. They'll let just let it. trucks late tonight. Okay. Usually the co-ops close around seven. Oh. But like I said, I think tonight they'll make an exception.
this is my rear view camera. Uh, and that shows all my yield and acres so far we've done. Oh, okay. All the different stuff. So how many, um, it's bushels, right? How many bushels per acre is it right, pulling out? Right now it's at 135. Okay. But it'll, it'll keep creeping up. Uh, it's, corn right now is around, has been around 160-ish. Yeah, it's been getting a little higher than that in some fields. So, so how was the price doing price for Price is alright. Price yeah. is decent. Right around $5 a bushel. Oh, nice. So then if it's $5 a bushel, approximately how much per acre do you get? 12 hours. They have just 12 hours to get 350 acres of corn harvested before the rains hit. They are working as hard and as fast as they can. Combines from all over, grain carts from all over, and semi-trucks from all over, all working together to help out another farmer in need. Because they know that if it were them instead, others would come to their aid to help them. Oftentimes, farming can be a lonely profession, but the farming community is always there, ready to help out and lend a helping hand when it's needed. And even though they're taking time out of their own crops, their own farms, and their own paychecks, they're more than happy to do so. Because it's times like this that make you appreciate what being a farmer is and what the farming community represents. Yeah. I was going to ask if those were your, your cows yeah, over there. Yeah, we milked about 500 cows. Wow. So. Yeah, we have very good employees we and got long the best, time. Best employees uh, anybody could ever have. So we are just very blessed and thankful that uh, we can have so much help to take the court off this year. Yep. No doubt. Mine yeah. needs Mike. Mike? Oh, yeah. I'm going to make it in a video. <laughs> So do you I live right up the road. So you're here all helping out? Yeah. yeah. I well I used to work for some of these farmers. I still work for the uh, river farmers. Oh okay. So.